The Search for the Lost Acorns by Jeff James One crisp, bright, fine day, Tweet D headed out to play. He walked along the wooded path to see his friends to run and laugh. Over rock and stream he skipped and hopped, he twirled and giggled till he almost flopped. Uh Uh-oh, what's that sound? He stopped quick to hear. Up there, in the tree, Chrissy Squirrel then appeared. I can't find my acorns I stored in the tree. I've looked high and low. They're nowhere to be. Tweet D took a peek in the tree with a gasp. Uh Uh-oh, they're all gone. We must find them fast. Winter is coming with its cold Arctic blast. Let's search down the trail. Our friends, we will ask. On the path they began when Ryan Robin swooped down. What's all the fuss, Chrissy? Why such a frown? My acorns are missing. They were there. Now they're gone. It's all quite peculiar, so the search is now on. I've been soaring all morning, my eye on the trail. I saw Tweet Dee, Mully Muskrat, and Ashley the Quail. With a thanks and a wave, through the forest they rushed. Ashley's nest was not far in the wild grass and brush. They rounded the bend and there on the ground, a half-opened acorn and footprints all around. These prints are a clue, the pairs closely spaced. My beautiful acorn, such a loss, such a waste. The tall grass then moved, someone was there. The sound of a chuck, they both waited and stared. Hello there, Tweet D. Chuck chucked Ashley Quail, and Chrissy, looking lovely, with your freshly brushed tail. Why, thank you, Miss Quail, but it's not a good day. My acorns were taken. Have you seen them? Please say. I only eat berries, fruits, and small seeds, and it's hard to carry acorns through the brushes and weeds. My feet are much smaller. Big prints those shoes make. We should follow the clues right down to the lake. With a wave and a thank you, down the path they now traveled. They neared the trail's end, where the dirt turned to gravel. There, by the water lilies, cattails, and ferns, they both saw fresh clues and a pile of acorns. They're here! Here they are! My acorns we found! And it looks like the same footprints are here on the ground. When out of the water, Mully Muskrat did saunter. Are you sure those are yours? I found them just yonder. Now, Mully, you know that you took them today. It was you that was seen on the trail down the way. Your colorful shoe prints were there with nut crackings. I think you took acorns from Chrissy without asking. Mully lowered his head. He felt kind of bad. They were just so lovely. All of them I did grab. I knew they weren't mine. I just wanted some. I didn't think about you or how you'd feel glum. But you could have just asked. I would have shared. It's one way us forest friends show that we care. I'm really sorry, Mully kicked at the dirt. Can you ever forgive me? Your feelings, I've hurt. Of course I can, Mully. Honesty matters most. We can still all be friends with acorns to roast. Mully grew wiser on this crisp, bright, fine day. Friends should help others when they lose their way. With a hug, and I'm sorry, Mully gathered up acorns. Please let me help take these back to your home. They all walked together down the long wooden path. Through the forest with acorns, they chatted and laughed. Then home again, home again with acorns and tea. Chrissy shared a loving toast with her good friend, Tweet D. The end. Or is it? Mm-hmm.